एस चांद प्रेजेंट्स एजुकेशनल वीडियो लेक्चर्स एस पर दी ए आई सी टी ई कारिकुलम डिफिकल्ट कॉन्सेप्ट मेड इजी स्टडी एनी वेयर एनी टाइम finding it difficult to calculate the length of the material used to manufacture this truncated cone i'll tell you the concept in this video welcome to s chand academy and i am anmol bhatia and in this video we'll be learning about the concept of development of surfaces for the truncated cones this is the second part of the video If you haven't watched the first part you can click the link in the description box if you want to study the concept in detail uh, you can refer to the book by S Chand Publishing the link of the book is there in the description box below this is the second part of the lecture number 10 which is development of surfaces the topic that we'll be learning in this part is the development of surfaces and specifically we have taken an example of a truncated cone uh shape so the the question that uh we were doing in the first part was like this and the question says that you have a cone of base dia 50 mm and the axis as 70 mm and uh, it is standing on the horizontal plane that means the cone is standing on the horizontal plane and it is being cut by a section 45 degree inclined to the horizontal plane so what i have what we have done in the first part of this similar video we have produced the true shape sectional top view and the front view of the truncated cone now our aim in this part of the video is to find out the development of the surfaces for the truncated cone so what we have done in the first part is firstly we have made the front view which is the triangle and then the top view which is a circle then we have cut this section measured all the points and those points are projected downwards on the top view joined all the points together made the sectional aspect of the same and then we have drawn the true shape for drawing the true shape we have projected all the points upwards in the perpendicular uh, 90 degree fashion i have taken the x1 y1 plane on the surface which is adjacent to the front view and then measured all the distances cut those distances there joined all the distances and then uh, prepared the the section of the same now in this uh, particular situation our aim is to uh, deliberately find out the length of the material which is used to prepare that object let's say i have this example and if i cut this cone from here this truncated cone from here and i open the surface so if i open the surface i'll get the material or the length of the material which is required to just join the sheet on the surface uh, so that the development will uh, take place so we have a set procedure for this so in order to find out the length of the material what to do we can make a line which is the slant edge of the cone in the question it is mentioned that the axis is 70 mm but we can measure the slant edge of the cone with the help of a ruler or with the help of a scale on the mini drafter and take that length on the uh, surface and mark the distance on the surface then we have to find out the angle of this opened section or the open development so for that we have this formula which is theta which is r by l multiplied by 360 so r is the base circle radius and l is the slant height slant height we have measured from this diagram and the base circle is given to you in the question so base dia is 50 base circle is 25 slant height can be obtained from measurement and theta can be obtained let's say theta has some value so you can uh make this theta angle with the help of protector and again 
draw this line which is equivalent to slant length so these two lengths are equivalent then open the compass till this length and draw an arc right so you got this surface and on this surface i need to place that cut section so i need to cut the surface and then uh, check whether this surface is feasible to fit in on uh, the the cut part of the cone so for this what to do i need to divide that angle that i have obtained using this angle into number of parts now how many number of parts that can be decided by this top view let's say if it is a circle and i have divided the circle into eight equal parts so i need to divide this angle also into eight equal parts so let's say this angle is uh, somewhere around 160 so i will divide that 160 by 8 so i'll get some values so 160 divided by 8 would be uh, 20 so i'll have the angle of 20 here then again i'll have the angle of 20 then again 20 so similarly i can divide this angle into eight equal parts and i need to label the parts as capital ones so i'll label the parts from starting from a b c d e f g h and again ending at a why a because i need to join a with a so that a complete solid is obtained now what happens um, this is the overall uh, part of the cone but i have the sectional part of the cone also so in order to indicate that section i need to have certain points here and i need to join those points together in order to uh, generate that section what to do this one is the slant edge or the slant height then on the slant height we need to measure the distances so distances are measured from the slant edges so here you will measure the distance from o to a and cut on the section so measure that distance and cut on the section so this is the entire length so this entire length is cut on the section then you have to measure the distance from o to this part which is b dash point and cut on the section so this point is o so from o you need to cut the distance on the b line and then for the c line from o to the c region because this is of c point the point is c dash g dash so from o to c dash you need to measure the distance and cut in the section for this c case then you have the situation for d so from o to d you have to take the distance there and cut on the surface so this is cut on the surface and similarly for o to e you need to take the distance and cut on the surface like this and similar distances can be obtained using this same process now this is o to f so the value from o to f or the length from o to f is to be measured with the help of the compass and similar length is cut on the surface and similarly for g part and similarly for the h part so for for g part this is the distance for o to g o to g you have to take the distance and cut on the section and for o to h you have to you have to measure the distance and cut on the surface and lastly for a also so o to a is this distance and similar distance is to be uh, marked there now the process is simple uh, in this you have to join all the parts together like a is joined with this this and this with the help of the smooth curve so we have to join a with this region with the help of the smooth curve and similarly for the other region we have to join them together with the help of a smooth curve so here you will obtain the development of surface in case of a truncated cone so this is the example of the truncated cone and uh, the actual development of the surface would be like this when i roll it or when i join a with a 
I will get the shape of the truncated cone. So I will get the material of uh, the surface which is required to make this solid. So this is the case. Uh, on summarizing, I will just uh, want to uh, clarify that uh, the part that you have to take off on this surface is from this O part till the slant edge. So this slant edge is to be taken into consideration while making the development of the surface. With this, we come to the end of the second part of the lecture uh, in which we have learned about the development of surface in case of a truncated cone. We have learned the procedure of how to produce the development of surface. If you want to study the concept in detail, uh, you can refer to the book by S. Chan Publishing. The link of the book is there in the description box below. So if you find the video interesting, you can like, share, subscribe the channel and hit the bell icon for future updates. Thank you. All rights reserved. This video has been prepared for educational purposes only. No part of it may be reproduced or copied without the permission of the copyright holder.